お待たせいたしましたそれでは次の講演に入らせていただきますご講演いただきますカオチェンロン様はゴバイルビーの共同創設者でありルビーレイルズ iOS アプリの開発者兼インストラクターとしてもご活躍されていますルビーカンフー台湾とルビー会議2013でスピーカーとして登場またウェブカンフー台湾の共同創設者ルビーカンフー台湾の主催者としてもご尽力されています本日はブリングルビーイントゥーキャンパスと題してご講演をいただきますそれではカオチェンロン様よろしくお願いいたしますこんにちは私は日本語をちょっと理解できますか話せません。So I will do my presentation today in English and this is my topic. I will talk about how, how we bring Ruby into campus and this is my name. Today's agenda is、uh, first I will have a briefly brief introduce about myself and my company and、uh, including、uh, sorry including what we do and、uh, Uh, who we are. And second, I will introduce the Ruby ecosystem in Taiwan. And the last part is we, how we bring Ruby into campus. We have some issues and how we solve them. And I will talk about the training course that we bring to students. And let me introduce myself. とりあえず、uh, 高見でもいいです。Or you can just call me Eddie. And this is my Twitter ID. I come from Taiwan, which is a beautiful island. We have、uh, many night markets and many delicious food and lovely people. This is my company, Five Times Ruby. And I am the co founder of this company. And because of the name Five Times Ruby and, and the logo, so some people think、uh, we are selling diamonds or j e w e l r i e s I hope so. But unfortunately, we are not. We are Ruby technical and consulting company. I'm a Ruby and Rails iOS developer and instructor. For more information, please, you can check my blog. And、uh, oh, by the way, this the slide will share on, in, on the internet after the, the, this session. How we do,、uh, we, now we support Ruby and Rails events in Taiwan. And we have some Ruby and,、uh, and Rails training calls in both in school and、uh, enterprise. And we, have,、uh, we also provide Ruby and, Ra and, and Rails consulting service. We also hunting or developing qualified developers. This, uh, 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 Because、uh, most enterprises they don't have the ability to find qualified Ruby developer in Taiwan, so we can hunting, we can interview the candidates, or even we can develop the, the junior developer into intermediate or senior developers. And the last part is、uh, we build Ruby and Rails and even mobile apps projects, especially offshore development. This is our client, Tabilaku san. And this is our another client, KCS san, to m a r i k o to g o i m a s And much to say, yesterday, much to say we should be lazy, but actually we work hard and we play harder. This is our daily life. No, no not, not daily life. This is our life. So,、uh, and then I will introduce the Ruby ecosystem in Taiwan. We host many、uh, Ruby. And、uh, Ruby events, such as some meetups or c o n f e r e n c e or Rails c o u r s e event. For example, this is Taipei the RB. Just like Asakusa the RB,、uh, Okinawa the RB, we have Taipei the RB in Taipei. We share technical topics, maybe、uh, one or two months. So、uh, this is our meetup. And we also have the Rails c o u r s e event in Taipei. And I am one of the organizers. This is,、uh, we host、uh, the Rails g i r l s event every two or three months. Basically, it's just like the other Rails g i r l s event in other city. And now we have seven Rails g i r l s event already. And by the way, 
This guy. これは私の息子です。And we have Ruby conference in Taiwan. This year、uh, it、uh, is in December. That is next month. So please join us if you have time and you are all welcome. So maybe you are saying、um, we have many community events in Taiwan. So maybe Ruby is popular in Taiwan, but actually it's not,、uh, especially in the enterprise. Why? That there's some reason. That because that、uh, because they don't know what is Ruby and or what is Ruby is capable of. And the second one is the most important part is、uh, qualified Ruby developer are not easy to hire. Let me show you some evidence. This website is the biggest website.、Uh, sorry, the biggest job website in Taiwan. Most people in enterprise will use this website to to search, find a job or employees. So you can type the keyword here to search some jobs. For example, I I will type PHP. Okay, we got five, more than five thousand jobs. Great. Then I try Java, and I try C sharp, and I try JavaScript, or even I try iOS. We have lots of jobs. But how about Ruby? I try Ruby. I got only two hundred and eighty-one. This is the data、uh, three, day, three day, days ago. And how about Rails? Only one hundred. How about R O R? The, the keyword only forty. That's too sad. That, that we we don't like it. We we don't like this. We are a bunch of guy. We, we oh sorry. Why this happen? Because traditional enterprise in Taiwan they don't know. They don't think Ruby is a good solution. They trust Java. They trust、uh, maybe big company like Microsoft. And、uh, Ruby is only popular in startup company because they can build their own products very quickly. And as far as I know, senior developer in Taiwan, maybe、uh, senior Ruby developer, I, I mean qualified senior developer,、uh, maybe about 100 people. people. Intermediate,、uh, most of them are intermediate or junior developer. But I think that's not healthy, and we love Ruby. We are a bunch of guys who love Ruby very much. We even have a birthday party for、uh, and、uh, made a special cake for the Ruby birthday this year. And we hope more and more people can love and join Ruby. Even、uh, and the enterprise can adopt Ruby as a development solution. So we try, we try to launch more event, more community event. But I think that's not enough, and we want more. We need more people, and we need more money. So we decide to found a Ruby company to make some money and feedback to the community. That's my company, Five X Ruby, Five Times Ruby. Sorry, and we call it a community-driven company. What we do is that we open some、uh, Ruby commercial training course to make some money, and we. Also recruit the attendees and put them into real world job to make some money. We use the money to host or sponsor more community event, and we go back. We go to step one. This is some course, some training course we have, like a JavaScript, of course Ruby on Rails, Git, HTML, CSS, and so on. But still not enough. If we if we If we want to build a healthy ecosystem, maybe we we need to develop Ruby Ruby developer when they are young. So we think if that will be good, if they are a, they can learn Ruby when they are student, that will be great. So we try to push Ruby into campus. Sounds good, but bringing Ruby into campus is not easy at all. It's not easy at all. We have several issues. First, school is a closed system that is hard to break in, and we don't have the official license of certification to teach in school. We we are not doctors, we are not professors, so it, we we cannot teach in school. And teacher may not know they don't they may not know what is Ruby, 
and they don't they don't think that's necessary for students. For example, there the one professor said he think the data structure and the algorithm is more important to student uh, Ruby or uh, it, Ruby is not. And if he wants a student learn one programming language, he will choose Java because the resource is more is more than Ruby. Okay, that's that's so sad. And of course, because we are just a small bunch of guy, we just a small bunch of guy who love Ruby, so they don't know who we are. That's very important. And uh, Ruby also Ruby is very different from other programming language. You need more e more effort to learn uh, to master it. So, and I think teachers don't really want to ne learn new things. That's why we, we have some we have this issue. So we got some idea. First, we approach a student. We oh sorry, we we approach a student, and uh, we open some short term Ruby and Rails course. For them, of course, for free. So we have uh, the training course in several university, or several university. And second, we keep hosting more and more events and promote our own branding. Let more and more people know who we are. So like a Rare Girls event, Rare Girls Weekly. This is a weekly event left for girls if they want to learn more after finish the regular Rare Girls event. And we have some panel discussion. This this discussion is talk about React JS, uh, which is some some popular web develop development technique. And uh, we also share some we we have some tech technical sharing. We uh, not only Ruby and Rails, but also some other programming language such as JavaScript or Alexa, which is a functional programming language. And we open more training codes for free, such as Ruby, Git, and uh, GitHub. We open th those codes are, are, are free. And the final, the final one, and uh, final part, we, we provide job op opportunity, opportunities because we know the enterprise. Since the enterprise, they don't have the the position, the job position for Ruby. So we provide job opportunity for some students and interns. For example, this girl. She's a designer intern during our summer vacation, and sh now she is an assistant designer in our company. Oh, I, f I forgot to say, she is only 20 years old, and she is a student now. And this one, he is a, a very talented programmer, especially in Ruby and Rails. Now, he is also an intermediate Ruby and Rails developer in our company, and he is also a student now. I think he's only 24 years old, very young. After one or, if after one or two years, the school or the teacher, they know who we are and they know what we do. And so they start to believe us. They, they start to trust us. So everything is, seems going well. But uh, oh, we have the chance to open our first class in school, finally. And we didn't make, and because this is our first class, so uh, we didn't make earn any money from this from school or students. And there are more than thirty students during orientation. That's good. But at last, only three students stay, uh, because they they say uh, the rest of the student they choose other programming language like Java because I, they think that will be easier to find a job or Microsoft, a bigger company like Microsoft. So this is the picture that we have only this one, this one, and this one. We have only three students. And this one, this one, this one, and this one. They are instructors. So we have four instructors, but we have only three students. That's really frustrating. But we, we didn't get up. We did, uh, didn't give up. Anyway, even we have only three students, we still gotta thank you later. And we, prov and we also proved to school that Ruby is really a solid solution because the student, the three students, they can build a real world product by themselves now. And actually, this guy, this guy, 
he is this, this guy. And after he graduated from school and he finished his military service, he joined us and he now he's a qualified REST and front end developer in our company. And next year, we have the chance uh, that school ask, uh, ask us to back to school, and we finally had a chance to open the official course in school. That means we have three credits in uh, each semester. And this time, we have 30, oh, finally, we have more than 30 students, finally. And more and more school, they will, really, they will hire us to teach Ruby. Um, and the last part, I will talk about our training course for the, those students. Uh, basically, they are not brand new te technology like uh, Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, that, that, and uh, Ruby Rails, Git, Git, GitHub, and some online service. Um, oh, because we, we think the testing is very important. So we teach students about TDD with RSpec. They uh, teach them how to consume API uh, of the payment service. We, are, we teach them Git and GitHub, but we, don't, oh, we are not only teaching them how to use, use Git and GitHub, but also collect their homework by sending PR, I mean a, I mean a pull request. For example, they put their own homework in their own personal folder and commit and push to GitHub send a pull request, and I will merge them to a homework branch if the homework is qualified. They also, uh, some students will ask questions with, with a GitHub issue. And this, this question is, uh, is about why the constant in Ruby can be changed. So the student ask why? Because in our programming language, the constant cannot be changed. And after merge, I write down the result with their, homo their homework and in the mark in a readme file. In this way, a student can not only learn how to use Git, but also can understand the whole collaboration process. And the most important is it's totally open. I mean, open is uh, you know some student will ask a teacher or say, "Sensei, kudasai." But in, in this situation, we don't have the chance because it's totally open and it has a full history. So I think that's, that's very good. And uh, building a Ruby environment is not easy, especially in school, because in the school, they, don't, they, um, they, use, they use the Microsoft Windows operating system. And we have two solutions. One is install a, a Linux system in a virtual box. And it might be easier if, if the student, they have their own PC. But some students, they don't have PC. So we recommend them to use a cloud service like uh, Cloud9 or Nitros. Nitros IO, it will be easier. We also use the online mark, Markdown editor. Why Markdown syntax? Because I think they will be developed in the future. So I think Markdown syntax is, is very help, uh, useful for them. This is, uh, this is a HackMD, which is built by a Taiwan developer. It's an online co cooperation, cooperating editor. You can use Markdown, and then students can, edit and can take the notes together. We also using the, uh, uh, sorry, communication is very important. I know the students, they use the line or Facebook, but I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, that's a, not a good tool for discussion. So we choose, we use Slack. We invite students in Slack and uh, talk about their homework and uh, any other question. So uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, that's the, the, uh, during, during this year, uh, since 2013, we have many events and training courses, some in school, some in enterprise. And uh, after this year, we have already had more than 1,000 students. And, but we, of course, we, we still want more. We keep recruiting uh, and the training 
students or our own interns, and we, we, turn, we try to turn them into qualified robots. In fact, we have 16 employees now, and half of them are training by ourselves. Yes. And then they can help the Ruby community to grow up. I think that will be a healthy com uh, ecosystem. The f this is our final goal, that we hope more and more people can love Ruby, can join Ruby community, and the uh, enterprise can also use Ruby as a developing, or developing, uh, de developing solution someday. This is my tweet ID. ありがとうございました。もしできれば僕は中国語で直接 あの、同じ就活研修の人の人はここに登壇されて、ま、講演していただくところ。で、すごくルビオ台湾でたぶん展開活動をされてると思うんですけど、それすごく気になってるのはたくさんのフリーのあのイベントだったりとか授業を開催
English or Chinese or Japanese? Uh, of course, not Japanese because I, I can I don't, I don't yeah. understand. <laughs> uh, I in in Taiwan, of course, I speak in Mandarin, uh, maybe Chinese. Uh, English is uh, I'm my English is not still still not good enough to be a teacher. So in school, I teach students Ruby and Rust, Ruby and Rust, and the other technology in Chinese. I should I should say Mandarin. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, wh one more question, please. Uh, is there enough documents for Chinese in Ruby? Uh, no. no the, mo most of documentation uh, it, over the world is, uh, is still English. And some good article and document is Japanese. So in this summer vacation, we, hire our, we, we ask our interns to translate the document like a Rails guide, the Rails guide because the Rails, Rails file is a new version, and then the document is still no one translate. So we we hire, we we pay to our intern to translate the Rails five document into Chinese. Yes, we pay them, but we don't charge charge anyone. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I work with Chinese. Uh, thank you very much. ありがとうございました。他にございますでしょうか。はい。私にまた何かありましたら、じゃあ個別に名刺交換をしていただきたいと思います。え、今日はTシャツもシューズもルビー色で顔中の王様のルビー愛がスタイルからも伝わってきました